I'm gonna be so honest with you. I'm exhausted. I'm currently very exhausted. <laughs> I don't have it so much in me today, but I'm gonna share this beautiful story that hopefully will give you an idea of what we talked about last video. Um, how happiness, for the sake of happiness itself, comes from a place above our intellect, in a place that we call Keter. Um, and so, this is where faith comes in and out. Faith is a terrible, terrible translation of what in Hebrew we call emuna. Emuna. Um, like I said yesterday, it's like knowing beyond knowing. Like, even when I don't know, I really do know. And so I'm going to give over this story from Rabbi Daniel Katz that really gives you a beautiful definition of faith or emuna. Okay. Ready? A man has to get home late at night across the forest. And it's dark and it's raining and he can't see ten inches in front of his own face. And he's lost in hail and he's lost in the rain. He doesn't even know. He doesn't even know where he is anymore. He can't find his home. He's walking around in circles. He doesn't know what to do and it's just raining and raining and raining. Finally, he sees a small mountain and he says to himself, maybe I'll climb up that mountain. Maybe I'll see where my home is. And he climbs up. He falls down. There's so much mud. And he climbs over and pushes himself to the top of the mountain. And finally, when he gets to the top, he stands up straight and he looks. And what does he see? Nothing. He sees nothing at all. It's darkness. It's hail. It's darkness. It's fog. And he turns to Shem. He turns to God. He turns to Source. And he says, Hashem, God, I can't see, I'm lost, help me, help me, please, please, please help me. And suddenly, bang, the lightning strikes. And it's in that moment that the whole forest is filled with light and his whole world is filled with clarity. And it's in that moment, in that second, in that flash, that everything he searched for is known. There's my home, that's where I live. Now I've got clarity. Now I've got, I've got a vision. Now it all makes sense. I'll never be the same again. And all of a sudden, boom, the lights go out. And, and now he's left in the forest and it's dark. And he's alone and he doesn't know how to get home. But it's not like the darkness that was before. Even though it's just as dark and he's just as blind, now he has the answer within him. And all he has to do is be true to the darkness. He has to be true in the darkness to what he saw in the light. And he can find his way home. In the light, look for the truth. In the dark, stay true to the light. And that, my friends, is the definition of a Muna. Take that for whatever you will to your heart. Maybe we'll talk about it more some other time.